Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. In the last part, we just found out that the Pope is poisoning the king so that he can become the supreme ruler of everything that he wants to rule. Anyway, skit. Is it my fault? Is it my fault? Do you mean Colette? If I hadn't made my that key crest, Colette wouldn't have wound up like this. And instead, she would still have no heart. No, if you hadn't saved her, Colette would have been killed by Crucius as a tool for Martel's resurrection. Well, that's true, but I don't want there to be any more sacrifices. I don't want anyone to suffer. That was your way, that way of thinking is not wrong. But you must deal with the frustration of the fact that sometimes you are forced to make a choice. Lloyd, take responsibility for the choices you've made. You're too harsh, Professor. The reason I say such harsh things is that I believe that you will overcome them. You are strong, Lloyd. So, wh <laughs> what, uh, what, uh, if you're gonna say stuff like that, why not just say it to our face? I mean, there's no point in like just being a jerk and then not, yeah, uh, whatever. Is it a punishment? Colette, is your body okay? Yes. I'm sorry to worry you. I see. That's good, then. I wonder if... Hmm? Is this a punishment? Because I quit the world regeneration. Nonsense! You suffered enough... You suffered through all that by yourself. How could anyone want to punish that? Thank you, Lloyd. Good. A quick one. I don't like those long skits. Anyway, now we're gonna do what you're actually supposed to do. Hey, Pope. You're too. You're still fat, so we've come to kick you. You're late. Huh? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, the male stripper you ordered is late. Ugh. What the crap am I talking about? Ugh. <laughs> what? What are you people doing here? <laughs> I apologize. We have something we want to ask you about. You're poisoning His Majesty, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. You're certainly a stubborn little fatso, aren't you? Is there an antidote? I don't know anything. Don't move. Yeah, I'm just gonna put my axe right here in front of you, and then it mesmerizes you. Then, let's have you drink this poison. It doesn't take effect immediately, anyway. Uh, alright. It's in the drawer in the desk. Wow, that's a wonderful place to hide it, freaking moron. Here it is. I have something I've been wanting to ask you, too. Why did you try to have Kate executed? She's your daughter. Sh shut up. What do you know? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. So that's why I'm asking. Are you stupid or something? You have a half-elven daughter. Why would you take the initiative in creating rules to oppress half-elves? When I was young, I also thought the oppression of half-elves was wrong. Then why? The church exists to offer salvation to all, does it not? Are you, Are you capable of understanding the terror of growing older? while your child, who sh supposedly shares your blood, does not? That's not Kate's fault, that's just the kind of species half-elves are. Yes, and that's exactly why they are shunned. I understand the feelings, feelings of those who persecute them. Because my daughter is a half-elf, she terrifies me. I just called the guards with my magic guard-calling mechanism that you can't see, but it's right there, trust me. If the Chosen dies here, the Church will be mine in both name and reality. Will the, char will the Church of Martell last without the Chosen? <laughs> we have Celis. So you did intend to drag my sister into this, you pathetic old geezer. It's your fault. Why is a worthless and irresponsible man like you the Chosen? If it weren't for you, no one would have interfered with my half-elf banishment project. Why do humans treat us this way? Those who are different must be eliminated. Shut up. It doesn't matter if you're a half-elf, a human, or whatever. No matter who or what you are, once you're born in this world, you have the right to live. Hey, look, the guard. It's only like 40 minutes later. D don't move! Boink. Oh, no, we didn't expect the guard to come. Hey, he's going to get away. I will take care of them. Yes, she will decapitate their heads from their bodies. 
<laughs> Whatever. And now she's back. With no blood in it. With no blood either. Crap, he got away. Hey, look, some guards. Ch chosen, I'm sorry. Please prepare yourself. <laughs> no. Wingy time. Ah, ah, anyway. <laughs> it's an angel. An angel has come down from heaven. It's the second coming of Spiritua. Look, your heretical deeds have brought down an emissary of Crucius. Chosen one. Then this truly... Then must be tr Dang it. Yes, she is the angel of death and destruction. Spiritua has returned. P please forgive us, oh great angel. Uh, um, um, what, what should I do? Hey, what's going on? Don't worry, and just follow my lead. Oh, holy angel, how should we deal with these creatures? Colette, say you're going to kill them. B but... It's okay, just say it like you're in command. Um, um, die! P please forgive us! Oh, holy one, spare their lives in my name. I will defeat those who oppose you and once again act as the chosen to spread the teachings of Martel. Please, say you'll forgive them. Uh, okay, I shall forgive you. Did you hear that? The angel has recognized the chosen as the true holy will of the church. Leave at once and capture my enemies, the Pope and his private soldiers, the Papal Knights. Y yes, sir. Revoke the wanted status of the Chosen and his companions at once. Yes, sir. Everyone, do as the Chosen commands. And who the heck are you talking to? It's just one other person, idiot. Wow, everyone did what you said, Selos. We were saved by the legend of Spiritua. Is that related to the Spiritua? Oh, wait. The Chosen of Silverant? Beats me. If you want to know the details, go read the books in the church or something. Anyway, Spiritua is a famous is famous for ki saving a chosen by killing a king who tried to dispose of the chosen. Hmm, kind of like what's going on now. Does this mean they won't be chasing us anymore? The church should be fine now. Anyway, what's left what's left is his majesty. We need to let him know that he's been poisoned. Polite obtained the title of Spiritua Reborn. Yay. Ugh. My throat is aching. W wait Princess, please let us see his majesty. I don't know anything about the return of Spiritua, but my father is sick. My father only wanted to protect Tethayava. We know. Are you aware that his majesty has been poisoned by the Pope? That can't be. It's true. The Pope has run away upon being investigated for it. We must hurry and neutralize the poison. Please move. It looks like this is definitely the antidote. What are you looking at? Mom, mm, mm, popcorn last night. It was horrible. Father! Ah, what? It looks like he's regained his consciousness. Your Majesty, do you recognize me? Well, not... Well, oh, yes, of course I recognize you. You were that guy last night. Oh, no, Zelos! Have you come to kill me? <laughs> no, Zelos saved you. Traitor, yes, it does suit me. Anyway... We were set up by the Pope. We have no intention of harming Tethiala. Even if the ruling family were to doubt him, the church, soldiers, and citizens would definitely side with Zealous the Chosen. We had the return of Spiritual with us, after all. What do you want? We want to see documents concerning the hero Mythos and the Carlon War that are maintained by the royal family. They are stored in the archive on the second floor. Do what you will with them. Do not show yourselves in front of me again. I am tired. I want nothing more to do with the church's power struggles. You're just being selfish. It's alright, kid. Then, Your Majesty, we shall excuse ourselves. Or allow ourselves access, whatever. Okay, that's it. You know what? I'm making too many jokes with gayness in it. So, back to Narcissist. Yay. Okay. Time for the suit. No more Speedo. <laughs> uh, whatever. It's funny. And that's why it's so wrong. <laughs> It's like it, it's it's like it's bad, but you know it's still funny. Ugh. All right, let's start looking through the books. Yes, let's. Okay, so apparently they felt it necessary to like have this, like that '70s show style camera angle. Look at everybody, and all the books strewn all over the place, and only Genus and Lloyd are actually looking. They're just the others are just staring at one. It's no use. I can't believe we've searched through all this and still haven't found it yet. Are there any other books? I'm not going to give up. There has to be a way. Lloyd, thank you, but it's okay. You can stop. 
and she trips owned, and the book at the top of the pile falls down, or floats down magically, and this is apparently, this is angelic language, no, they're ancient elven letters. Wait, this may be it! So wait a minute, the book at the top of the pile, the one we already looked at, is the one we needed? Okay, certainly didn't expect it to find the book that way. Colette's clumsiness seems to be truly blessed. Doink, doink, doink. Embarrassed. Professor, what does it say? Wait. In order to prevent the erosion of the Crucius Crystal, a Mana Fragment and Zircon are fused together using Boltzmann's technique to create a Rune Crest. Fibers from the Mana Leaf Herb, when placed in the crest, protect against the crystallization caused by the illness. Ah, the rest of this is just theory. So, in other words, we need a Mana Fragment, Zircon, and a Unicorn Horn, right? 